recessionary trend and along with inflation that continues to be high, whatever the RBI figures they are quoting and putting it out, on the ground level at the retail level, food inflation particularly is very high. So in this situation, we have demanded that the government must hike its public investments in job creating works to build our infrastructure, generate jobs and therefore give more purchasing power to the people in their hands so that the domestic demand can grow and the economy can revive. In this background, the latest free rations that have been announced by the government, we think that that is a, actually in the name of free rations, what is going to happen is this poverty is going to increase as a result of this. What has happened now is the Food Security Act has been merged with the free rations that were started during the COVID pandemic. So now both of them being merged means you get 5 kg of food grains per individual free till the end of next year. But the 5 kg of subsidized food grains that were available under the Food Security Act is no longer available. That means what you were getting at rice at rupees 3 per kg, that 5 kg works out to 15 rupees. Now rice per kg in the open market is anything beyond 40 rupees. So 5 kg of that instead of 15 rupees, they'll now be spending more than 200 rupees. That is, in effect, people have the, their, for their nutritional intake, what is required in terms of food grains, that has been reduced. And this is a very severe blow. So we are demanding that both the free 5 kg plus 5 kg at subsidized rates under the Food Security Act, both must continue simultaneously. And <clears throat> the other area where, where the Politburo expressed concern is this sharpening communal polarization. We have the Sadhvi, who is a member of parliament, giving this absolutely incendiary speech, spreading hate and violence. And very strangely, the police authorities in the state of Karnataka have said that they will register a case only if somebody complains. No, normally, in such cases, I mean, immediately the suomoto notice must be taken and a case must be filed, criminal proceedings must begin. But a BJP state government, so we know up and how they, they operate, this is open patronage that is being given. This is absolutely unacceptable. So the Politburo has not only, apart from condemning this, we've also been very critical of how the Maulana Azad scholarship fellowships have been scrapped for the minority students, and we demand that that should be immediately restored. As far as the uh, cooperative sector is concerned, the new amendment bill that has been brought in the parliament, that is still to be passed, but yet not been brought, is a brazen attack on the rights of the states. Cooperatives are a state subject. And the centre is trying to use this amendment in the name of multi-state cooperatives, trying to encroach upon the rights of the states and try to control the cooperatives. Now they have, this government, Modi government, has ruined the nationalised banks by giving out loans to its own cronies, which are not being paid back. Now they are eyeing the cooperative banks, the cooperative sector, that is a very resourceful and a rich sector. And this way they are attacking that. So we will strongly oppose this amendment bill when it comes before the parliament. As far as the judiciary is concerned, we are of the firm opinion that the independence of the judiciary is something that is uncompromisable. It's not negotiable. So any effort by the executive or the government to control judicial appointments or influence judicial appointments, that is something that the CPM will oppose firmly. So we say independence of the judiciary must be sacrosanct and must be maintained. So these are some of the major issues that we discussed. And in that basis, the Central Committee has been convened on the 28th to 30th of January at Calcutta. And there we'll discuss. Uh, when has Kerala been without controversies? I don't know why are you saying that. So, uh, <coughs> Kerala, Kerala state 
<coughs> state committee is perfectly adequate to discuss these issues and take the necessary measures. They didn't figure in the Politburo meeting because there was absolutely no need for that too, anything to figure. So nothing of that that came up in the Politburo. No, only only discussion about Kerala was the role of the governor. The bills are still pending. He's not signing them. He's not returning them. So what is he up to? What is what is it going to? And it's not only about Kerala governor. This is happening all in all the non BJP rule states. The governors are playing the role of actually furthering the political agenda of the central government. This is something not acceptable. So. The, as far as we are concerned, party is concerned, there is no controversy, no allegations, etc. Whatever be the issues concerning Kerala, they will discuss. As far as we are concerned, there has been no allegation or anything that has been raised here. Which matter? What allegations? I don't know anything about it. I mean, then nothing has come here. <laughs> that, that is what, what you are talking about. I am totally unaware. No, nothing has come here. Huh? <coughs> Those reports are all reports. We have taken our position on the Bharat Jodo Yatra very unambiguously. We said it is the Congress's uh, program. It is their mass contact program, which is very good. We wish them well. Let, let them go ahead and do their program. Like we conduct our own independent programs. They are conducting their program. Where is the question of anybody participating? No. Nothing. I told you, I got, we have received nothing here at the centre. That's what we are going there to the state committee meeting on the 9th and 10th. We'll discuss the issue there. We'll discuss those issues there. Our basic thrust was in the last few meetings to develop our independent strength and to maximize the pooling of anti-BJP votes. The main objective is to remove BJP from government in the state. They are causing absolutely, uh, I mean, a terror they have unleashed. It's a tyrannical rule and that must end. And we have therefore demanded from this uh, election commission that they should be proactive in taking measures to ensure free and fair elections are held. That can only happen if democracy is restored in the state and the democratic rights and civil liberties of the people are restored. That means uh, uh, the issue um, uh, that includes the alliance will be discussed in the state committee. What, but there is no question of any alliance or whatever be the electoral adjustments in Tripura will be discussed there. Oh. Hmm. Naturally, the, the central committee will discuss it next when we meet. Next when we meet, the central committee will discuss the question of rectification campaign as directed by the 23rd Party Congress. Hmm? Okay. Politburo Yogatan Shesham, CPM General Secretary Sida Ramechu, Yuda Pradigar Namana, Namal Kandada, Kerala Televiva Dangal, EPJ Rajanumai Bandapata, Anadigrada Sotu Sambadana Aro Banam, a Politburo Roda Munbage, Titila, Kendra Kamatuda Munbage, Titila, and then Gilmundagala, the Kerala, Kerala Telepathy, Kadakam Parisho, the Chujida Maya Tirimana Medicum, Adina, a Kelpula, Samstana, Nedrutum, Samstana Kamatunda, the Parisho, the Chitirimana Medicum, and Nana, Sida Ramechuri Parana, and Apurte Korichartim, Politburo in Narnadilla. Ivishemetilla and Num Endana, I Paradi and the Samadh the Sam Shangarilla and Mana uh Prakash uh Sidara Machuri Pol, uh Vishadi Garichiki Nada, Chartsagal Venamangilo, Nindagalum Nadabadi Venamangilo, other uh Kerala Narakum, Kerala Committee of the Parish of the Chujama with Raporteka and Dagilum, I Karatel Kurdala Pradigari can polybureau Shisham, Mathimangalakanda General Secretary Tayara Idovilla.